Today we're taking a close look at the new 57mm Trench King tires from Little Guy Racing Parts. If you followed the channel for a while, you know that I'm a big tire guy. But it's hard to deny these smaller size tires lately. They bring excellent scale, great performance, and they fit your build with little to no modification. So today we're diving into the Little Guy Racing Parts Mini Trench King tires. These are a 57 by 20 millimeter tire and a copy of the very good full size Trench King tires that came out not too long ago. So let's kick it off with a close look at these tires. Let's check them out. So let's take a look at the Mini Trench Kings here. Great looking tire, first impressions of these things. I love the tread design. They're a just a scaled down replica of the big Trench Kings, which work fantastic. A narrow tire, which is going to allow you to get great traction in loose conditions. And the way these lugs are designed, you've got great spaces in between. They're a directional tire, and you can see you're just gonna channel out the mud, the sand, all the debris from these tires. You can imagine these are gonna grip really well in loose terrain specifically just because of how they're designed. With this taller, thinner profile, you do have the shoulder lugs here. It's got a very squared off look to it. And you've got these sharp edged lugs along the sidewalls. So you've got tremendous grip along the side here. One of the things that I really like about these tires is that they are the same NL2 competition rubber that we're used to from the Little Guy Racing Parts tires, but they feel much softer than the big Trench Kings. If you saw my review on those tires, you know my primary gripe about those was that they felt stiff initially despite being the same compound. But these smaller ones seem to feel much softer and more pliable. And I'm not sure if it's because they run a softer insert in these or what, but regardless they've got a really nice feel to them right out of the bag. These are 57 millimeter tall by 20 millimeter wide. It's going to be a slight upgrade to your stock tires on an SCX24 and pretty comparable to a TRX4M. So your 24 scale, 18 scale crawlers are really going to benefit from these. It'll be a direct replacement without any ancillary modifications. So you'll be able to keep that scale look, but gain a lot of performance with these aggressive tires. Just for some perspective, let's look at it against the big brothers. Here is the full sized trench king the 64 millimeters and you can see the size difference is immense but the lug patterns and the overall design of the tires is virtually identical if we compare these to the mini swamp kings which came out fairly recently as well swamp kings are also 57 millimeters but they're slightly wider the mini swamp kings are a 22 millimeter wide compared to a 20 millimeter wide in the trench kings so not a huge difference here but it is noticeable when you look at these tires if we look at the mini trench kings against some of the other competitors in the market, I would say they're most comparable to the Proline Super Swampers. Just looking at the size, both in terms of height and width, they seem to be very comparable. Could also throw in there the 58 millimeter Enduro Rock Terrains here. So as you can see here, height wise, these are virtually identical, but the trench king, at least to me, is noticeably more narrow than the other two. Not necessarily a bad thing comparing these to some stock tires so let's look at it against some takeoffs here so here we are against the stock trail grappler from an scx24 and the canyon trails from the trx 4m so you can see that it's most comparable in size overall to the canyon trail so it's really going to be a direct replacement for the trx 4m it is more of an upgrade than I was initially expecting for the SCX24 tire. So you're noticeably taller than the SCX24 stock tires. Similar width though. But overall this is going to be a great upgrade for your mini crawler if you want to maintain that scale look but boost your grip. These are definitely going to do the job. But overall great looking tire, great feel, nice and soft. And it's going to be a great scale upgrade to any mini crawler out there that runs a one inch wheel. So why don't we get these on a build? I've got three of these on the ghost beadlock wheels. I'll throw the fourth one on there. We'll put them on a rig and then we'll test these things out. So here are the mini trench kings mounted up on the ghost beadlock wheels and onto Snaggletooth 2.0. How awesome does this build look? Holy cow. I'm typically a big tire guy. I like the big tires, especially on a belly dragger with straight axles like Snaggletooth is here. But these 57 millimeter trench kings really fit the build exceptionally well they look fantastic and i just love how they envelop the chassis here this thing would look outrageous with big tires the smaller tires also keep the center of gravity down lower it looks fantastic on the bench so why don't we get it out on the 
rocks and on the indoor course. I'll throw a variety of terrain at these things and we'll see how they perform. You guys can check it all out. So let's go hit the course. All right, let's kick this off and do some indoor course runs here. If you see my review on the big Trench Kings, you might remember that they performed really well on the styrofoam in the indoor course. So I'm hoping that these do the same. Right there, a little hung up. That's where the benefits of a bigger tire with more clearance really come into play. But still able to recover. They look great on the build. That aggressive tread pattern looks so good. I'm stuck on the skid right there. Yeah. having clearance issues all over the place by the looks of it. So far I've been able to recover from each one. Let's see how these things hook up with some of these lines here. Definitely some good grip. This thing is just so slammed. It sits so low. Head over into Mini Moab. We'll do some vertical lines here over on the styrofoam. Definitely some good grip there. A lot of my builds understeer off of that section, but we were able to stick that line really well. Let's come across the base of the chute here and see how they grip on some slick side hills. Sticking pretty good. That's about a 40 degree incline right there. More so coming over here to this really gnarly section. Very planted. Okay. Now let's go up the chute. No slippage at all. Yeah, let's hit Hell's Gate here. Understeered off that line a little bit. Still able to recover really nicely though. Let's try one more time from a different angle here. Good, very good. Nice grip there. That was a tricky line. So just as the big brothers did, the mini trench kings seem to work really well on the indoor course, both on the plaster and on the styrofoam. <laughs> I don't get distracted here. One more line up the canyon, and then we'll take this thing outdoors and see how they perform on real rocks.
Nice, did pretty good. So I brought old Snaggletooth out to Crawler Heaven, AKA Fort Phoenix in Fairhaven, Massachusetts to test these tires out. I'm gonna be doing a voiceover here because I forgot to bring my mic here this day. And you're also gonna hear Axel generally just wreaking havoc with his SCX-10 Gladiator back there and talking the ear off of some other guy that was out there with a 110 Crawler. <laughs> So right off the bat, I started throwing some vertical lines at this thing to test the climbing ability of these tires. It was interesting out here at Fort Phoenix that I didn't have the same issues with the ground clearance that I ran into with the indoor course. I found I was able to get up and over things really easy, maybe because they just gripped better on the rocks, I'm not sure. This crawling spot is just incredible, I'm telling you. There is no shortage of amazing lines to hit and plenty of hero shots with the American flag in the background there. Such an epic spot. Now this section was so gnarly and the camera definitely doesn't do it justice. This gatekeeper line here, there was only three or four inches of flat terrain there before the drop off on the side and the cliff on the other. Somehow that thing stuck and was able to do it. And then climbing up this vertical face here, kind of an off camber, it just, just gets it done. The thing gripped like crazy. The cheat code chassis combined with these tires just did amazing out there. Here you can see in the background, there's a Vanquish Phoenix kit build back there with straight axles. I was admiring that thing. It was very cool. That thing crushed some lines out there also. Here's another super gnarly line that I came across here. It's just this sharp vertical face with a real sharp break over at the top and you can hear axles in the background clanging around asking me to help him with his body and i'm so focused on this line trying to nail it and it does it sticks it and gets it done so easy looks easy on camera but i'm telling you that was so gnarly so that about wraps it up for our fort phoenix footage these tires just hook up on this terrain so well for a tall narrow profile tire that looks like it's meant for sand and mud they hooked up incredibly well out here and the build just did amazing. Such a fun time. So let's talk about the mini Trench Kings. So just like their big brothers, these perform really well in a variety of different conditions. They hook up surprisingly well on the indoor course, doing well on styrofoam, plaster, wood, all of the materials that I have indoors, and then they perform even better outdoors. The tread design on these certainly looks like they're built for loose terrain, muddy terrain, sandy, those type of situations, but they do surprisingly well on the rocks. In my experience thus far, these have been an all around great performer. I haven't really tried them in mud, did try them in some sandy situations and they work great there. The lugs clean out really well. It's got that nice directional tread design with the big channels in between to really clear out that debris and keep you moving forward in those loose conditions. I like the compound on these. Despite their smaller size, like I said earlier, they do feel softer and more pliable than the big Trench Kings do. I was pleasantly surprised that even with the softer feel and the conformity that you get from these, they still maintain a good sidewall strength. I haven't done anything to these as far as inserts go. They are on the Ghost Beadlock wheels from Little Guy Racing Parts, which are vented. So that is the only advantage that these might have over a different setup is that these are vented. But despite that, the conformity to rocks and obstacles was great. They had good squish, great grip, and they maintained good sidewall strength with very little body roll. So overall, another great tire from Little Guy Racing Parts. You really get what you expect from these tires. When you look at them, they've got a real aggressive look and appearance to them, and they back that up with solid performance across the board. I really like what Little Guy Racing Parts is doing. They put out a big tire, test it, make sure it's successful and then they don't try to introduce a separate smaller tire they just copy the exact same 
big tire in a smaller size and it seems to work really well. So if you're looking for an aggressive replacement to a stock tire and you wanna maintain scale, size, and appearance, I think this is yet another great option from Little Guy Racing Parts. I'll put the link in the description down below if you wanna check these out. These are competitively priced at 20 bucks and you can use my discount code below to save another 10% on all things Little Guy Racing Parts. And let me know down in the comments what do you think of these mini Trench King tires. And if you wanna see another mid-size tire shootout, let me know what you'd like to see I'll compile our competitors and we'll do another test with these smaller tires. As always, I appreciate your time. Thanks so much for watching. Please like and subscribe if you haven't done so, and I'll see you in the next video.